Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Streamlabs chatbot for your live stream. Streamlabs chatbot works conveniently with YouTube, Twitch, or Mixer. So if you stream on either one of those three platforms, it'll be easy and intuitive for you to set this up. Now, I already have a tutorial here on the channel on how to set up a YouTube chatbot called Fussbot, but I feel that the Streamlabs chatbot is more intuitive, provides more features, and is overall easier to use. Streamlabs chatbot has many features, including but not limited to commands, raffles and giveaways, a loyalty system, mini games, and song requests. But in the interest of keeping this video short, I'm simply gonna be showing you guys how to set up the Streamlabs chatbot for your live stream. And then in future videos, I'll show you guys how to set up and configure individual features within the Streamlabs chatbot. So the first thing you guys are gonna to wanna to do is navigate to the link in the description down below, streamlabs.com slash chatbot and download Streamlabs chatbot. Now, unfortunately, Streamlabs chatbot is only available for the latest Windows users. There's currently no Mac or Linux version, and I am unaware of whether or not the developers plan on creating a Mac or Linux version. So click the download button. Once you have it up, save it on your computer. And once it's finished downloading, you can continue with the installation. Once you're here, you can agree to the end user license agreement. Click next. Choose where you want to have the Streamlabs chatbot installed. You can leave it at the default location unless you want to change it. Then you can choose whether or not you want to create a startup folder. On this screen, along with the developers, I do recommend adding an exception for the Streamlabs chatbot to your Windows firewall just to eliminate any possible issues that the bot may have communicating with your live stream. If you want, you can also choose to create a desktop shortcut, which I'll do for the purposes of this tutorial. Click next and then click install. The installation shouldn't take much time at all. And when it's complete, you can launch Streamlabs chatbot. When you first open Streamlabs chatbot, you'll be greeted with the setup wizard and the wizard will help guide you through the setup process. You can begin by clicking start and then choosing which platform you stream on. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up the Streamlabs chatbot for your Twitch live stream. So I'm going to select Twitch and then click next. It says, please wait. All APIs are operational, does a quick system check and then click next. Now for the very first step in actually configuring your Streamlabs chatbot, you will need to have already created a separate Twitch account for the Streamlabs chatbot. And this separate Twitch account will act as the bot account that the Streamlabs chatbot will live through and post messages in your chat and communicate with the viewers of your live stream. I already have a separate Twitch account for my Streamlabs chatbot, but if you don't, you can conveniently head right to Twitch's website and sign up for a brand new account very easily. Once you have your new bot created, click login to Twitch bot account. Once you click that button, the Twitch bot authorization window will open up and you can enter the username and password of your bot account. Mine is ProHQ and I'll enter the password as well. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll click authorize. And then if you logged in correctly, that sub window will close and you'll be automatically greeted with step two, which is where you log into your actual primary Twitch account, the account that you live stream on. So I click log into Twitch account. My username for my Twitch account is ProHennis type in my password, click log in. You'll then enter your two-factor authentication token if you have that set up. And again, if you entered all of your login information correctly, that window will close and you'll be automatically greeted with step three, which is to please authorize Streamlabs chatbot through Streamlabs. Because this chatbot is developed by Streamlabs, they do expect you to have a Streamlabs account. However, if you're somebody who prefers to not use Streamlabs for, let's say your alerts, you prefer to use something else like maybe Stream Elements, don't worry. All you have to do is just have a Streamlabs account. You don't actually have to have all of your alerts go through Streamlabs in order for this Streamlabs chatbot to work. So to log in, I'll click the button at the bottom and I'm logging in with my Twitch account since I'm setting this up for my Twitch live stream. I'll click authorize. Once I click authorize, I'll have to scroll down to approve the API authorization for Streamlabs chatbot. Click approve. And there we go. Now the Streamlabs chatbot is officially configured with not only my Twitch bot account, but also my primary Twitch account. On this first screen at the very top, you can set up a few basic settings, including choosing your audio device and audio engine for the PC that your Streamlabs chatbot is going to run on. If you want the bot to automatically connect on launch, you can have this checked. I advise doing that. It just saves less clicks and makes it easier. If you want to be able to see your viewer count within the Streamlabs chatbot console, you can check this box as well. I personally like to keep the clear session on startup box checked just because it keeps the Streamlabs chatbot looking fresh every time I start it up for a new live stream. And if we continue to scroll down, you'll see an option to configure currency, which is one of the features of Streamlabs chatbot that I talked about earlier. Now, again, in this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to set up currency, but if this is something you're ready and comfortable with at this point in the setup process, you can go ahead and check the currency tab and then configure all of your currency settings right within this first window. If you're unsure of these settings or want a little bit more of an explanation on what they do or how they work, I will have a video up on my channel very soon after this one goes up on how to set up currency through the Streamlabs chatbot. 
But for now, I'll leave currency unchecked. And if you continue to scroll down, you'll see more options for some moderation tools that are automatically built into the Streamlabs chatbot for caps protection, link, word, simple protection as well. But again, since the purposes of this tutorial is just to show you guys how to simply set up the Streamlabs chatbot for your live stream, we're going to simply go ahead and click next. And there we go. If you did everything correctly and there were no crashes, you should see a setup complete enjoy your new chatbot welcome screen. So now I'm actually ready to open up the official Streamlabs chatbot program. So I can click finish and the program should automatically launch. A little bit of a warning, this program does take a little bit of time to launch, but once it launches, it's incredibly fast and easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and make this window full screen and you'll see a little support tab. This will open up every single time you open up Streamlabs chatbot which just contains some contact information if you have any questions or any issues with Streamlabs chatbot. So if you set up everything correctly, you should see successfully connected for the streamer client, which is your main Twitch stream account, and then your bot client, which is the bot account that you created for Streamlabs chatbot to live through. And if you're setting this bot up just like I did for a Twitch live stream, and you're a Twitch streamer who already has a few moderators assigned for your Twitch channel, then you should get some reassurance when you see the list of moderators for your main channel listed out right here in the bot. Now, just to prove to all of you that this works, I'm going to open up a browser window and log in with my primary Twitch account. Once I logged in, I went to my Twitch dashboard, which allows me to see my Twitch chat. And this is where I'll be able to prove to myself whether or not I successfully configured my Twitch bot account and my primary Twitch account through the Streamlabs chatbot. So I'm gonna put both of these windows side by side just so it's easy for you guys to see. So here within Streamlabs chatbot, I have a drop down menu at the bottom that allows me to type a chat message into my live stream chat as either the bot or the streamer. So to test and make sure that this works, I'm going to choose bot account first and type in hello. And when I press enter, I'll see the chat message pop up here as pro HQ and I should see pro HQ appear in my official Twitch dashboard, which lets me know that I logged in successfully and configured successfully my Twitch bot account with Streamlabs chatbot. Then I'll do the same thing, go back to the drop down menu over here, choose streamer, and this time I'll type hi with a smiley face, press enter, and I should see another chat message pop up in my Twitch dashboard from my official Twitch account, the exact same message that I typed over here in my Streamlabs chatbot to prove that I successfully configured and logged in with my official Twitch account through the Streamlabs chatbot. So ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Now you've successfully configured your Streamlabs chatbot for your live stream. Now I know I only showed you guys the process on how to actually set up the Streamlabs chatbot for your Twitch account, but the process for your YouTube or your Mixer is incredibly intuitive and very similar. If you guys have any questions about this process, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer as many of them as I can. And if I can't answer your question, then maybe there will be somebody else in the comment section who's more prolific with Streamlabs chatbot who will be able to give you some advice or steer you in the right direction. But guys, thank you all so very much. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy streaming tutorials, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. This is what I'm all about over here on the Pro Tutorials channel. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.